Hi, greetings. This is C. Neeraj Mittal from G. Indicher SAP Consulting, NOIDA. This is the video on assigning digital signature within SAP. This presentation is divided into three parts. Firstly, about us. Secondly, the scenario that why do we need DSC and internally how does it happen in SAP? And finally, in the third section, we show that how this is practically done on SAP. Enjoy the presentation and if you like it, please hit the like button and do subscribe us so that you can get the first notification for the knowledge presentations which we upload. Enjoy the presentation. Thank you so much. Hi, this is CA Neeraj Mittal from G. Integer SAP Consulting, NOIDA, India. G. Integer is formed by a group of chartered accountants, X Big Four, specializing into SAP services. We specialize into SAP financials and SAP Ampex on ECC as well as on HANA and Cloud. Our core services includes services in the area of FSCN, Financial Supply Chain Management, including Treasury and Risk Management, Hedge Accounting, etc. In the area of EPM, we provide services for performance management, which includes Business Planning and Consolidation, BPC as well as Governance and Risk Compliance, SAP, GRC. Here is a list of services which we provide, which includes your analytics, SAP, FSCN. In the area of financials, we provide financial account consulting, specifically to the CFO's office, including your IFRS compliance, legal compliance, tax compliance, and how this needs to be done on SAP. In addition, we also provide services in the area of HCM and Success Factor, Cloud, mobility and e-commerce supporting to that we also provide ams services which includes sap support development implementations and staff augmentation in the area of resourcing and support we provide staffing and resourcing services on dnm basis as well as on contractual basis for the functional and the technical for sap ecc hana and other services. These resources are available on site as well as offshore. This is a, a group of this is a list of people those who have formed this G Indicher. So this is our leadership team with our presence in US, India and Singapore. You can contact any of the email IDs below or on general you can contact to inquiry at gindicher.com. Thank you. Hi, now this scenario. Why do we need digital signature and how actually it happens in SAP? In this slide, you can see that the first half is the digitally signed invoice. This is the final outcome which we are trying to achieve when we say assigning digital signature on SAP. That is, when you preview your invoices or your smart scripts in SAP, then finally, you may be able to assign your digital signature and see it digitally signed in SAP. On the right hand side, you can see the process that now how actually we can achieve this outcome. In this process, we have taken the example of a invoice generation in SAP SD, starting from the point where an invoice is generated in SAP SD. Once the invoice is generated, then Next step is you see the preview of the invoice. Here in the preview, this next step, normally you see smart forms. However, for the digital signature, these smart forms are converted into Adobe forms. It is required so that the digital signature can be affixed along with the password. So in case if you are using smart scripts, the drawback is that in smart scripts, images are directly attached to the document so it doesn't ask for the password so it's a security breach and the security is not that strong however if you convert the script into adobe forms then before fixing the dsc the system asks for the password so it's a double security check for strengthening internal controls now here you can view one invoice or you can view n number of multiple invoices. 
once you have reviewed the invoice you come to the next step when you assign the digital signature so this is the blue box which we all are familiar with so in the invoice you find this blue box when you hit on this blue box then the system takes you to the token and by an interface this dsc token is called from where then digital signature is assigned so on hitting the assign dsc button the digital signature uh, token gets activated and it asks you for the password of the token the dsc token which you have taken on entering the password then the digital signature gets assigned and there you can see in the invoice the digital signature now this invoice can be sent on a printer email workflow and to whatever way you like in the next slide we'll see that it's not only the sales invoice in which the digital signature can be used in fact it can be used at an n number of other places so digital signature is not required only for gst compliance or signing your sales or purchase invoice rather it can be used for n number of documents which needs to be signed of course the prerequisite is that all those documents which are in the form of a smart form so smart form should be there which can then be converted into adobe form and then you get the space where you can assign the digital signature so these type of forms can be like for example form 16 your payroll customers invoice purchases deliveries quality assurance quality inspection checks offer letters appraisals contracts legal documents etc all those things which are in sap and if required you have the smart form then it can be converted into adobe and the digital signature assigned now in the next slides we'll see the demo in the system that how actually the digital signature is assigned to an invoice in this document we see starting from the point where an invoice has been generated in sap sd a billing document is generated and now after generation of document you go to see the print preview of the invoice now the print preview here you see on the right is the print preview of the invoice normally you people are used to of seeing it as in smart form but now in smart forms you don't find these type of boxes where you can assign the digital signature that's why we convert it to adobe forms now since this is an adobe form so here it's ask you for the space where you can assign the digital signature on clicking this then the the, the password um, of your dsc token pops up now here you enter the password of the dsc token your dsc token and not your sap user password so this is the second level check here you again uh, punch in your uh, password and by the, after this password then the digital signature gets assigned at the top here you can see it's not only about one invoice but if you want you can perform this transaction on n number of invoices in multiple invoices so once you have assigned the digital signature finally this is the output you finally receive here at the bottom you can see that the digital signature is now assigned to the document so this document which is digitally now signed can be sent across as an attachment on an email or can be sent to the printer for a print out here in fact a certain security features a log which shows that who has used this digital signature at what time what date etc these are the standard features of the dsc token which through an interface can be called an sap as a track record as a tracker so you have a complete audit trail a track record as well of who has used this uh, digital signature when etc in addition to this if you want any specific uh, cockpit uh, monitor to see the transactions or to see your invoices and their status of digital signature that can also be specifically developed some people also require to see the status of the email or the printer or the number of prints etc so all these can be customized and made according to your requirements i hope you like this presentation if you like this presentation please do hit the like button and also subscribe to us so that you get the first notification whenever we put in the knowledge presentation well thank you so much for this in case if you have any queries please feel free to drop a mail or contact us on the whatsapp number given in this um, slide thank you so much have a nice day